up, everybody? It's me, Joe with me, Joe Pizzapia, and welcome to another Hit and Run right here on the Fantrax HQ. And it's time to talk about Francisco Lindor today and how we approach him with this calf injury. It looks like he could miss anywhere from a couple weeks to the first month or so of the season, and that's significant. And we have to figure out a plan of how we go forward. Now, this week's labor draft, he went ninth overall, which in a 15-team league, I still think that's pretty early. Now, it worked out for that owner. They got Machado around in the second round, but I don't think that's something you can count on necessarily. I think Machado is a better investment right now, so is Trey Turner, and a few other shortstops around that sphere. Now, if you're in a shallow league, I think Francisco Lindor is somebody you can still be aggressive. And by aggressive, I mean you could still take him in somewhere in the 6, 7, 8 range. And the reason is, shortstop's very deep this year. You could probably get by with a month of guys like Willie Adamas or Ahmed Rosario and guys like that who will kind of fill in like a Jorge Polanco would until you get him back sometime around late April, early May. And if you are a Francisco Lindor owner, I'm going to tell you the cautionary tale of Josh Donaldson because I think it's important and I think what you have to understand going forward is you want him to take as much time as he needs to get right. In 2017, Josh Donaldson had a calf injury, strained calf, on February 19th. He came back, and by April 14th, he had re-injured it already. So in that three or four week window where he decided to go on the short end of things, guess what? It wasn't fully healed, he pressed it, it became a bad situation, and it caused him to miss significant time in the season. You don't want that happening to Lindor. That's why you see that seven to nine window of time in terms of weeks. It's going to be closer to that 8-9 window than it is to the 6-7, rest assured, because especially with Lindor's game and his legs and stealing bases and playing shortstop, it's not something Indians should push or will push, so you have to keep that in mind. Bottom line is this, in a deeper league, I think you're smart enough to let Lindor kind of go as long as he can. If you miss out, you miss out. In a shallow league, you can still be aggressive because the replacement value out there as you go deeper into the draft and potentially on waiver wires is enough to get by for that first month or so of the season where you're probably going to be missing out on him, and that's being realistic. Mid-April would be great. End of April, probably more likely. All right, you can follow me on the Twitter machine, at JoePizzaPia17. Check out all the great content right here at FantraxHQ.com. For everybody here at the tracks, stay on track, baby. Oh, and while you're there, on that track, pick up the Fantasy Baseball Black Book 2019 and check out our newest podcast as well on the Fantrax Podcast Network. I'm done plugging things. See you later.